I watched funny. Ocean's 13 last night. Oh, yeah? Uh, was it good? Uh, I almost ran to that over the weekend. Uh, Don't bother? Uh, you know what? It, it's just... Uh, it's one of those just stupid Everyone ensemble cast, worthless wastes of time. <laughs> Pacino's just... Al Pacino has lost everything. He has just lost everything. He's a parody of Al Pacino. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you think so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you think you can do it? Give it a try. All right, we get it. What happened? To, like, there is some point in his career, he went from Michael Corleone, which was cool Al Pacino. One of the badass, one of the, did his old guy, who just kind of talks funny. It looks like he's what doing, the f he looks like he's doing an SNL character in the last, like, ten yeah. films he's done. It's like he's doing a parody of himself like everybody else on SNL. Does. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, it, it's, it, he just got rid of that old Al Pacino guy that everybody liked. And stop with the Botox. Your face at this point doesn't move. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's creepy. It turned into this. Out. And then you watch that movie. What was that movie uh, where he had uh, insomnia? Was it called Insomnia? Yeah, no. yeah it was called. <laughs> I was just thinking that when I said, <laughs> what was that movie where he had insomnia? What the hell was that called? With Robin Williams. Why don't you read what <laughs> Pal Talk's saying now? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I picked up on it within a second. By the way, everyone But I was watching that, okay, and, and, and he had, like, nail fungus. And it, the, talk about taking you out of the movie. That one just took me out of the movie. And now every time Wait, I see... nail fungus took you out of a movie? Dude, his fingernails were yeah. black. And, and they'd show like him... They should have a handstand in at that point. They'd show him giving somebody something. And yeah. now every time I see him, I just think, Ah, my nail fungus. This Vaughn has the same... His thumbs... He, really? Uh, I'm mushed. <laughs> mushed. I'm not. I can't watch a Vince Vaughn movie anymore because I'm staring at his thumbs. Yeah. I'm done. And he hides his thumbs. Watch any interview. He hides his thumbs. Does he got one of these? What is that? I got a mushed thumb. It's no, just. It, what is it? No, no, dude. This, that's my birth defect right there. No, it's that's, a little, that, it's a little mushy. Looks, it looks like a toe. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not really bad. No, it his, was. His, he was in a car accident, and his thumb was, like, shredded. He's got the Radar O'Reilly syndrome, where you're just looking, trying to look at Radar's goofy, friggin' I used, not developed hand and mash. I never always, do that. He had oh, yeah. Hand. Yo, it was awful. He has this little baby hand that's he's all crumbled up. Baby hand. And, and that's why he always holds a clipboard or something. He never shows that hand, but sometimes it sneaks you out. You never played the game. Let's try to look at that thing. Look at whatever that I is mean, hanging off of Radar O'Reilly's forearm. He'd walk into every scene with a clipboard or something hiding that thing. I know that mole used to bug me. I oh, the one right anything. betwixt the eyes? Oh. But no, he's got like this claw little baby hand. <laughs> and it's it's so... Oh, yeah, uh, man. They, yeah, they, they hit so it through disgusting. every episode and, and used to play, let's try to see that thing. Oh, what's that movie where the guy gets thinner? <laughs> thinner? Thinner. <laughs> oh, oh, he's all asses. <laughs> wow, he's not kidding about Vince Vaughn's thumb. What's Vince, wrong? Wait, where is it? Wow. Yeah, dude, Who his, knew? His thumb is... Dad, I'm not close enough. Look at that. Yeah, let me look. That's effed up, man. Who what knew? What happened to Vince Vaughn's thumb? He's got no thumb, dude. Oh, uh, now you ruined Vince Vaughn movie. <laughs> yeah, now we got to look for his, uh, his weird thumb. In okay, so it's Al Pacino's fungus. And, right. Uh, Gary Berghoff's baby hand. And Denzel's pinky. Denzel's pinky? <laughs> Denzel's pinky? Denzel's pinky. Is, What's wrong? It takes Put a, in Denzel's pinky. It takes a mean left. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a mean left. Denzel's hey, we're, we're real late. We can continue with this after the break. We'll throw a lot of these pictures. Celebrity defects. <laughs> we'll throw a lot of these visuals that we talk about on this show uh, up on O and A Radio dot com later today that's uh, what we do because i know we do a lot of visual stuff on the show and then we throw it all on ona radio.com so you can see what we're uh, looking at during the radio show all right uh, you don't have to call about that uh, no country for old men or whatever it's called everyone is saying how awesome the movie was i mean every single person online right now it's opie and anthony we'll continue <laughs> oh that's tomorrow opie and anthony and Bobby. Where's Bobby? Where did Bobby go? Where did Bobby go? Come here, Bobby. It's the Opie and Anthony Show, 877-212-ONA. Hey, Bobby. Where'd you go? Oh, he went to go puff. Huh? Oh, I didn't know. No? Good boy. No. I, uh... Hold on. You just went for a run, a little jog? No, I just ran know. from the door to here and I'm out of breath. <laughs> Where were you? 
I uh, I went to the bathroom. To the latrine. Oh, uh, down the hall? Yeah, I've been washing my hands a lot lately. I get into this habit. Anyone uh, go in this bathroom today? No. There's like a little, uh, um, hmm. There's like a little, like, raisinette that just will not flush uh, down. Ah. Uh, just like stuck to the side of the bowl. Ugh. It's the worst when you you know you haven't gone to the bathroom all day, and then you come home and there's one of those in the bowl. Like there's, and you got to look at your girl like, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, I you don't leave like, that in there. Uh, just you seriously, be. I want you to be a magician. Yeah, with with your ass. <laughs> well, well, go look in that bathroom. It's like a, one of those bad moles you see on some people's faces. <laughs> it's just, just it's just sitting in the bowl staring at you. <laughs> John Boy Walton. <laughs> right. It's like a tick that's hey. full of blood. By the way, uh, you're so right about Denzel Washington's thumb. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, Pinky. That could be one of the best celebrity uh, deformities all these pictures I've ever will, seen. All these pictures, you'll help uh, ONARadio.com today there, E-Rock? Okay, all these pictures will be up on ONARadio.com later. But uh, we're talking about, uh, I don't know, deformities. And uh, Denzel Washington, Bobby pointed this out to us, and it points completely down to the ground if his hand was on his chest, let's yeah. say. <laughs> it takes a mean left. Yeah, take your pinky at, like, the, the knuckle. You, and, you you can't do it. And just bend it. It is a <laughs> sideways until it cracks and is facing yeah. down. It is all, Like, if you went to shake someone's hand, put your hand out to shake someone's hand, your pinky would be facing the ground. Yeah. It goes a, out halfway and then cracks down. It is, it is almost a 90-degree angle. It's yeah. just, a, and it's long. It's really like long. That extra. <laughs> it looks like that looks like something they could just fix with an operation. Yeah, why don't they fix that? He, I saw him trying to load a gun in Man on Fire. I believe. It was. <laughs> oh no! And his he was flipping that. He was flipping it around. <laughs> trying to flip him. He was flipping it around, trying to get that bullet in the gun. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what is oh. that? Look, Look at, at it! That. What is it doing? And it's giant around the uh, the ankle. Like I think he yeah. might have been born with two. The like, ankle. I mean uh, the 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 knuckle. Sorry, I'm I'm freaked out by this. It, it looks like he might have had two like uh, pinkies growing. Like his pinky was growing, and then all of a sudden a little pinky just shot off out of the side of it. The knuckle in that area is twice the size of all oh. the other knuckles. Yeah, you never see him shake hands in movies. But why couldn't they fix that? They should be able to fix that. Who gives a crap if it doesn't move? You're At least Denzel. make it look right. You're Denzel, for God's sake. Fix that. Uh, let's say hi to... Uh, uh, oh, man, someone had a funny line, but he's gone. All right, let's go to Sean in Philly. Sean, what's up? Yo, celebrity defects. Um, Stephen Colbert's freak ear. Does Stephen Colbert oh, yeah. have a freaky Yeah, Stephen Colbert's like, ears aren't the same. Like a piece of uh, Jimmy Dean's sausage. 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 One of, them, uh, one of them is smaller and sticks out. You've seen it? Yeah, he's shown it on his show. Oh, uh, he'll he openly yeah. admits it? he makes fun of it. All right, let's go to Tim in Buffalo. Tim, listening on the edge, the home of Shredder Reagan. What do you got, Tim? Uh, I just wondering if you guys have ever checked out Val Kilmer's elbow. What's wrong with Val Kilmer's yeah, elbow? He's got a tumor on his elbow. Stop it! No, How do you? He know this Val stuff, Kilmer's boy. elbow. What's that find movie he was doing with Al Pacino? And uh, find me Val and, wow. and De Niro. Elbow. And De Niro. Heat. heat. In Heat, I thought it was a, a like a, a like a, a choice as an actor. <laughs> hey, I want a, I want a, a tumor on my elbow. <laughs> it is disgusting, dude. <laughs> I was gonna get Let's a drink. See. Val Kilmer's elbow. We're looking for Val you Kilmer. Notice that. My goodness. God. Celebrities. <laughs> well, we can't really find his elbow yet, but uh, we'll take it. It had nothing to do with the movie, Tim. Nah, he uh, busted it up filming the doors. He did a stage diving scene, and they they dropped him. Mm. So uh, yeah, it's kind of there for good now, I guess. But uh, oh, it's it bad too. Daryl Hannah. What's wrong with Daryl Hannah? She has a uh, half a finger, her index finger. Yeah. Uh, she lost it in the pulley of a well. Yeah. How old is she? <laughs> Jesus. She's getting well water. That's what, you get. That's what you get for trying to be green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you lose so, your finger. Someone is saying, look up Bobby Kelly's planet belly. <laughs> Fast Freddy. It's the closest one to the sun. <laughs> You know what? Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station. This is very local, but I have to go with it. The Islanders TV girl's mouth is crooked as S and doesn't move. Like, she's got some kind of, like... What? She talks like... It kind of goes crooked, does it? A lot of people in, in, it's a little too in local, on TV but... now, if you notice this, the guy on Heroes, 
the guy who can fly, the kid who can fly, and the chick on Dexter, the, their mouths, it's like they had a stroke. Really? There's a lot of people on TV with like a, a, their mouths. Because they're pushing that Botox crap. Stay away from the Botox. Smug guy on Channel 11 News. <laughs> Smug guy's got a mouth that kind of goes, meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> See, it's curtains for you. Oh, curtains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you're in the oven, huh, rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Famous, famous celebrities that have uh, missing fingers and stuff. You got Gary Berghoff from MASH. Who's yeah. Donald uh, Deke Slayton? I don't uh, know. He's an astronaut? Yeah. Okay, these are just famous people in general. Bobby they, wouldn't know that. He doesn't like space questions. Uh, you, wow, you really knew that one? Yeah. Oh. I know some astronauts, but I didn't the know. The original Mercury 7. Wow. Good. All right. Jerry Garcia, yes, I remember that one. Uh, Tony Iommi, yes. He's missing, what, a finger, right? Chunks of two fingers on his right hand. Ooh, in chunks. What do it, you don't miss chunks of in, your finger? In an industrial accident. <laughs> Boris Yeltsin. Well, is the, we're talking about grape stains now, too. Was Boris Yeltsin the one with the big... Uh, no, no, no. that was... Uh, <laughs> Gorbachev. Oh, Gorbachev. Right, right. Gorby. Are we good going with the... Uh... It's hard to look at Gorby with that <gasps> grape juice on his head. I kept trying to dab it off. I have Alzheimer's, so I forgot it was a, one of those, well, stains. Oh, my God. They're coming in like crazy now. Do we go with this bit? <laughs> uh, check out relief pitcher Antonio Alf Alfin... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, dang. Ah, what there. was that? He has six fingers on both hands. What the hell is going on there? Who is that? That's John Travolta with his hair weave. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. But that do you was... have the picture of him bald that they have on the internet? Really? There's a really? picture with him with no wig on, and he's balder than me. Really? He's got a hole in the back and nothing up front. He's got like a little baby curl. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Come on. That's well, that's Photoshop. No, dude, no. He, he's bald. <laughs> but that's for a movie, that picture. <laughs> don't Don't take away my hair. Right, let's go with uh, Brandon in New York. Brandon. Yeah, what's going on? Hey. Uh, yeah, I just want to comment. I try to look at uh, ESPN. Stuart Scott's on, and I cannot turn away from that guy's glass eye. Yes, uh, Stuart Scott's got Is it a glass eye officially? You know what? I don't know. He could just be uh, cockeyed. I don't know. But he, looks like a glass eye. Yeah, he got hit with a baseball. Right in his face. Did he really? He got hit with a baseball. He was doing batting practice with the team, just messing around. And he got he got right in the eye socket. He almost lost his eye. I don't know if he lost it, but one eye stares straight at you, and the other one looks at the text that he's reading. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty good for a news person Dude, to have that. One of my one of my first radio jobs. Uh, I was sitting like you know down for an interview, and the guy was behind the desk. And he had like a lazy eye or a glass eye, and I didn't know which eye to look at. And I did the classic move where you move your whole chair to like get <laughs> on oh, no, the other get, side and get in yeah, front of the like, eye. You think? Let me just get I, in front of this. I one. try to make it, you know, because eye contact's very important in job interviews. I'm like, which one do I look at? And I'm like, I don't think that's the real one, man. So I'm just trying to make it like, like not obvious that I'm moving my whole chair so I can look into the other eye. <laughs> Alright guys, you're great. Punch it out. I got the gig though, man. That was all right. <laughs> he looked into the right eye. <laughs> I guess. He chose the right one. Let's go to Randy in New York. Randy. Yo, what's up guys? Hey, man. I, I don't know if you ever noticed it, but just take a look up at a picture of Angie Harmon. Her right eye is just a lot bigger. It's like a big giant medlib eye on her uh, <laughs> face. Oh. Hey, I'm looking at a really? picture of John Travolta and he's got kind of like the Phil Collins thing happening. Oh, oh. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'll have to check that one out, Randy. Thank you. Look. All right, see you guys. Yeah, he's got the Phil Collins thing. Oh yeah, he's his bald. Where he's oh, got wow, like, look at that. He's got the little spot left in the front of the, in in the front, and then it's he's like got, huh. he's got what I have right here, little baby and then girl. If, and then if you wear headphones, that's yeah. where your head uh, your hair would start way back there. Wow. Oh yeah, he's that's bald. not photoshopped or nothing. Nah, he's no, he's bald. That that's real. him. They had it on PTI one day. But he looks he looks all right as a bald guy. Yeah, but you know some what? Guy, he some wants guys the hair and the rolls, you know. So huh? he gets that he gets that fiberglass stuff stuck to his head with hair in it. Is that what that is all about? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he showed up. It looks, he showed up. It looks on... like fiberglass on the side of his head on that in that picture. He showed up at an award show with short hair, and the next day he showed up with the, a wig that was long. <laughs> so he, he just wore the role, and they they had the they compared the two. Like yesterday he had short hair, and apparently in one day he grew three inches on his head. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go to Brian on Long Island, Brian. 
Hey, guys, a uh, pitcher in baseball gets traded every year. I don't know what team he's on. Antonio Alfonseca has got six fingers. Yeah, that's the one that was coming up on Instagram. Oh, yeah. back. And that should be illegal. <laughs> especially if you're a yeah, pitcher. There he is. Let's see. Is it freakish? Ho! Oh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. six. And, and he gets the pitch? Shouldn't be able to pitch with six fingers. You could <laughs> That's gotta really be pull advantage. some shenanigans That's there. That's got to be an advantage. Wow. <laughs> he can actually make the ball hover over the plate. <laughs> <laughs> How is oh, I don't know. Yeah, How you could. F did you get it, make it to the major leagues with six fingers? Wrap your hand around that ball. <laughs> Damn. Wow, man. Oh, the Catherine Zeta Jones one is coming in. That, that one, too. What's wrong with uh, him? Jay Moore brought that up. What is it? Oh, you want to go? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Peter, Massachusetts? Hey, that Pete. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, hey. Yeah, Catherine Zeta Jones has a really nasty tracheotomy scar right down the middle of her neck. Uh, yeah. She covers, it, she covers it up with. She, she, she always wears some kind of a choker or some t- uh, turtleneck, yep. something to cover it up, but it's a trach uh, Sharon, scar. That Sharon she, Stone has the same thing. Does she? Oh, you, a huge scar. Only it's down a little lower. I saw it in a movie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a trach scar. <laughs> oh, she wasn't standing on her head? <laughs> what happened? So wh- wh- why, uh, Catherine, say, what happened? What's the story? Was she in a car accident? She was a little girl, she was a little girl and she was, uh, she was choking on a giant piece of sausage, so they had to... Uh... <laughs> Come on. That's not true. Yeah, it's called Michael <laughs> Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can't. Jessica from Jersey will acknowledge your call. You know, one one testicle dudes, whatever. We're talking about the uh, stuff you could like, you could see while you're watching some of these. Yeah. Julia Roberts has three nipples. Again, things we can see. I made that up. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, people will believe it now. We already did radar. McFoley's ears messed up from wrestling. Yeah, it's from no wrestling. Deal. Let's go to uh, James in New York City. James, what's up? Yeah, sticking with the Islanders. Uh, the TV guy Howie Rose has got these fat rolls in his neck. It makes them look like a Thanksgiving turkey, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Let's go to Charlie in Westport. Charlie. Hey, man, if we're talking about deformities, you can't forget about Lee Corso's baby arm. Every guy in college, every college kid's got a sign holding up Lee Corso's baby arm. Totally lost. Do we not know what a baby arm is here, boys? No, who's Lee Corso? <laughs> Lee Corso, the college game day. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. I don't... Curb Street. He's got a little baby arm hanging around his waist. And does he... <laughs> does it move? Uh, yeah, you know, it goes up and down, uh, depending on... Uh, <laughs> it goes up and oh, down. Oh, my God. There's a guy... Uh, we just went images on Google with Lee Corso, and there's a guy that baby uh, 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 photoshopped a real arm where the baby arm is. <laughs> Look at that picture. Uh, he, probably, he probably pulls that up all the time. I <laughs> <laughs> love his baby arm. Yeah, I'm not a huge yeah. college football fan, so I missed that one there, Charlie. I, I know who you're talking about. I recognize the guy. I'll, I'll have to check it out now. Oh, uh, no, it's a huge joke. Thank you, Le- uh, thank you, Charlie. Lee Corso's baby arm. We add that to the mix today. Thanks for uh, giving a baby arm. All right, thanks, sir. Let's Little go to Queens. baby arm. You always have to buy two sets of gloves. <laughs> we'll have all these pictures up on onaradio.com later. It's very hard to face somebody with the baby arm, like uh, when you see him in the street, and, and you make eye contact, but then you look away real quick because you're afraid you're going to look at the baby arm, and he's going to go, he's looking at my baby arm. There's a guy that we I hate confident people with defects. Like people like who can go out and like if I had a baby arm, I'd I'd always wear something over wrap it. Wrap it up. Yeah, I'd wrap it up. Guy's wearing a wife beater. Like I saw a lady <laughs> <It's> outside with, <laughs> with these feet. She had something wrong with her feet. Her toes well she had like a little hammer toe. Yeah, they were the what like the pinky toe was like mushed <laughs> and then the other toe was like clumped together with this other toe and she was wearing flip flops. <laughs> It's like, you confident bitch. You know what? We're in contact with a guy that has two baby arms. He, that's a baby. What? And <laughs> and he has and he's a, he seems to be a nice guy. Who? We're in contact with this guy a lot. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. And the guy will wear a watch. And I want to tell the guy, don't wear the watch on the baby arm. More attention is being brought to your baby arm. How does he hold the phone to his head? Does he have to mush it against two the wall? baby arms. He loves his iPod. Tell him I loved him in Jurassic Park. <laughs> right. <laughs> Love- Is he a T Rex? Yeah, that's a T Rex joke. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> baby arms. <laughs> Steve and Queen. Stupid dinosaur. Hey, what's up, guys? Astoria? No, I'm Aspen. All right. My old neighborhood is all, uh, what, uh, Greek now? Astoria? Yeah. What's up, Steve? No, I just want to let you guys know that uh, Alfonsica's nickname in the league is uh, the Octopus. The Octopus, yeah. 
There you go. Six fingers pitching in Major League Baseball. That is not fair. <laughs> he should never lose. All right, guys. <laughs> going to live for myself. All right, thanks. Dave in Buffalo. What's up, Dave? What's going on, guys? How about uh, John Travolta's nose? What's wrong you with You ever him? seen him in Pulp Fiction? What's up with his What's nose? What's wrong with his nose? It looks like it's broke all the time. Wow, I never noticed John Travolta's nose. Now we got to go back to John Travolta. Check it out. Like, you know, when he's sitting at the table with uh, Mrs. Mia Wallace there? Yep. Look at his nose. It could be a bad makeup job, but the whole movie, it looks like his nose is busted. I wonder if they threw a little nose piece on there. It's like, I don't like Christian Bale, too. He's, he's got a nugget right by his eye. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I can't watch nugget. him. Nugget. And I, I, every, they try to always shoot they him. They covered from, it up uh, pretty good in um, American that, Psycho. Yeah, they, they, yeah, he was supposed to be perfect in that. The yeah. guy was supposed to be perfect, but he had that. What does he got? I use an exfoliating big, wash. He's yeah. got a big nugget. What's growing, a, just It's like a nugget. I don't know, like a risen nugget. Like not a, looks like a ball. <laughs> like those things that grow under your grandmother's armpit. <laughs> It's uh, yeah, it's some kind of uh, an o old Eastern block country mole. <laughs> yeah. But it's right in his socket, right, right, right in the left of his eye, and it grosses a me out. A nugget, dude. The Eastern block growths are hilarious. I see them all the time in New York. I'm like, what is different from where you come from that you got these abnormally like misshaped, risen mole things growing off your body? My my and girl it's had one. Eastern block country. Eastern block. My girl had a, a, cover with she had a nugget right on her. When I first met her, I had a nugget right here. Yeah. And uh, she got it removed. Because it's not Thank like God. bowls or anything. It's just like raised and it just has a life of its own. And you get a lot of Chinese people, though. Like Asian guys, they'll embrace that nugget and let like <laughs> just the hair fly out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, they'll just let it nugget. grow. Nugget. Like <laughs> three <laughs> huge hairs just grow. And they have no intention of plucking it ever. Uh,. Well, let's not forget about um, the uh, producer for... Uh, the Opie and Anthony show? No, 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 no. The producer for uh, old slot machine arm. Um, hey, let's say hi to Paul in Boston. <laughs> Paul. What? Hey, what's up, boys? What about the uh, Joaquin Phoenix lip? <laughs> Joaquin, oh, hair Joaquin lip. Phoenix, <sighs> Phoenix's hair lip is... Very oh, yeah, that's a biggie. Sniff. Hey, let's say hi to... Uh, we can tell that story uh, after the break. Oh, I guess. of course. Yeah. Uh Cook, what's up? Cook. Yo, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I got a celebrity defect. Anthony Cumia's adorable eyes. Blink, <laughs> blink. <laughs> blink longer. longer. Well, if you're going to... Well, yes, Bill O'Reilly's producer. <laughs> if you're going to talk about Anthony's adorable eyes that go blink, blink, let's not forget about my charming cheekbones. Ah. <laughs> I heard that all weekend long. What's the matter with you? <laughs> what? I just was talking about my charming cheekbones. <laughs> Let me all see right, well, about uh, what's her name? You've never uh, seen uh, his adorable eyes oh, that blink, 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 blink. blink. <laughs> um, it's got big Cindy Crawford's eyes. Chris, Cindy Crawford's a nugget over her lip. Yeah, yeah. but that, that, that's kind of sexy. No, oh. when she was when she was uh, like twenty. It was sexy. And now it's just, it's bigger. Now you could just imagine, like, kissing her and feeling it. Because <laughs> you know later in life that's going to actually go pale. <laughs> and it'll still feel mossy. Yeah, you see old, old ladies with those be beauty hairs. marks. And they go pale and they actually become, the, like, the color of skin and they they droop. Yeah. Oh, hey, let's, uh, we're in a speed round because we've got to take a break. Let's go to uh, Jesse in Jersey. Speed round, Jesse. What do you got? Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, Owen or Wilson Jess. knows. What's with that thing? Like, right above... Where the nostrils. Oh, you don't have to describe it. You don't have we to know. Describe Owen it. Wilson's nose. Get, everyone knows about that. Get the nose fixed. Let's. Okay. Uh, very good, bro. Let's go to cigars and scotch. Cigars. Hey, right of Van Susteren's mouth. It looks like she's doing a ventriloquist act without the dummy. <laughs> she's got stroke mouth. Where you going, on Yes, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> Smells like hot garbage and sizzling. <laughs> I'm Gretis Van Susteren. Okay, sir, sir. We're in the court today. We're in Aruba right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, blonde head whore died. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, end this with John in New York. John, celebrity, uh, what, uh, the defect, I guess, right? Birth defect. Yeah. What do you got? Hey, guys, uh, don't forget about Homer Simpson and his four fingers. Yeah, that's yes, a Yes, Homer up. has four fingers. That's that's a little left up right there. That's odd. Hey, 
You ever uh, see them count down from five? They always get stuck when they get to, down to two. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Punch it out, guys. And that ends that bit. Right. We'll be back. Opie and Anthony.